The Sega Genesis Mini is a system that we have been covering a lot on this channel. Of course, when it was first unveiled, we were introduced to 10 games that were confirmed for the Sega Genesis Mini, and I really liked those 10 games, and I was definitely curious to see what other game announcements we would get. Well, Sega actually reached out to me last month and asked me if I wanted to unveil 10 more games coming to the Sega Genesis Mini, and I was like, yeah, of course I do. So we did a video on that talking about 10 more games headlined by Earthworm Jim, I feel, just a huge acquisition for the system, and just a lot of cool games that we're going to be coming to the system, but we still have 20 more to go. So Sega reached out to me again and was like, hey, do you want to talk about 10 more games? And I was like, yeah. So here we are. We have 10 more games confirmed for the Sega Genesis Mini, and there's going to be some definite surprises here. You can see by the thumbnail, a certain company is represented in this lineup of games. So what games will they be presenting in this lineup of games? That's what we're going to talk about. So sit back, relax, make sure you subscribe to the channel, and let's talk about 10 more games confirmed for the Sega Genesis Mini. Hey. RGT85, hey Sean. Oh my god, it's Stevie Richards! Now before we even get into the 10 new games, I actually have another announcement about the Sega Genesis Mini that's going to make a lot of people happy because it made me very happy. Now of course when we were introduced to the Sega Genesis Mini, it seemed like the North American version of the system was coming with a 3 button controller, which is fine, we all grew up playing with a 3 button controller, but we also used a 6 button controller, and it seemed like Japan was getting 6 button controllers, but there wasn't any confirmation that a 6 button controller would work on the Sega Genesis Mini. Now I had speculated that more than likely this would be an addition that would happen obviously with the new retro bit controllers coming out these hopefully would work with the sega genesis mini well sega actually confirmed to me that yes indeed the retro bit six button controllers will work on the sega genesis mini so that in my opinion is a huge plus because one of these games that we're going to talk about out of these 10 games you're going to need a six button controller for so yes six button controllers from retro bit will be compatible with the sega genesis mini my buddy ryan over at castlemania games has them in stock right now if you want to go ahead and stop up on them. I know I sure as hell I'm going to. They are officially licensed by Sega as well. The quality of these is top notch, so do not hesitate to pick up these controllers because they will work with your Sega Genesis Mini. But now that all that is out of the way, let's get into the game, shall we? The first game we're going to talk about is probably the one game that I honestly don't care about on this list, and that is Alex Kidd in the Enchanted Castle. Now, Alex Kidd, of course, was the precursor mascot for Sega before Sonic the Hedgehog really took off, and Alex Kidd in the Enchanted Castle is a game that I just really don't like it. I've never really sat down and played it hardcore, but from what I have played about this game, I just never really enjoyed it. It has a weird rock, paper, scissors mechanic in it that just makes everything very random. It's not really based on skill. It's more based on luck. I don't know. I'm sure there are fans of Alex Kidd out there, and I'm sure they will be excited to see this game uh, uh, announced for the Sega Genesis Mini, but just me personally, I'm not a fan of this game. It doesn't really do anything for me, so this is definitely the weakest announcement. Now, speaking of Sonic the Hedgehog, there is a another Sonic the Hedgehog game that is confirmed for the Sega Genesis Mini that most people actually don't like, but I'm actually a big fan of this game, and that is Sonic Spinball. Now, Sonic Spinball was an offshoot of the Sonic the Hedgehog franchise. It was actually designed after the Saturday morning cartoon of Sonic the Hedgehog, and it basically puts Sonic in a pinball universe, and it may, might not be a really good Sonic game, but I feel it's a really solid pinball game. Obviously, there's different levels. There's bosses within the levels. There are things you have to do in order to access where the boss are. The levels are very big and sprawling. The music is very good. The frame rate is a bit low, I feel. But honestly, I always enjoyed this pinball game. I think it's a great game, and I think it's a great addition to the Sega Genesis Mini. So Sonic Spinball will be available on the system. Next up, we have a game that I expected to be on the Sega Genesis Mini, but now it is confirmed, and that is Vector Man. Vector Man, to me, was always sort of Sega's attempt to answer Donkey Kong Country. Of course, Donkey Kong Country used the Super FX chip, and Vector Man was just a game that looked very, very beautiful. It was definitely known for its graphics and it had pretty solid platforming action as well you got some various upgrades as you were playing through the levels some really nice lighting effects in the game as well just a really solid platformer game that never got a release outside of the sega genesis you had two vector man games on the genesis and then vector man just went away so it's cool to see vector man on this system and he is confirmed for the sega genesis mini the next game I want to talk about is a game that I was hopeful was going to be on here because it's a game that always sort of gets overlooked, and that is Beyond Oasis. Now, Beyond Oasis released on the Sega Genesis, Legend of Oasis released on the Sega Saturn, and they were really fun action-adventure games. If you're a fan of games like The Legend of Zelda, you will probably really enjoy these games. They have a top-down style view, really fun uh, mechanics in there, really interesting combat. Of course, they have a deep narrative as well. There's a lot of things going on in this game, and it's just a really fun uh, sort of action-adventure game with 
RPG elements. Like I said, if you're a fan of The Legend of Zelda, this is a game that you'll definitely want to check out. Once again, another franchise that has pretty much just been forgotten about, but it's great to see Beyond Oasis on this system. Of course, another great Sega franchise is Golden Axe, and Golden Axe is confirmed for the Sega Genesis Mini. Now, what makes this game fun is that it is a beat-em-up game, but you can play with multiple people, so you can play with a friend on the Sega Genesis Mini. And I like Golden Axe. You know, I always sort of prefer games like Streets of Rage or Double Dragon, you know, games that sort of have a more modern setting, but as time has gone on, I've grown to appreciate games that have sort of a weird setting, like a medieval setting, and Golden Axe is a really solid game. A lot of people have very fond memories of the arcade game and the Sega Genesis port so yes golden axe will be available on the system and that's a big win in my opinion Moving right along, we have another hidden gem on the Sega Genesis, and it's a series that has been sort of getting popular lately, and that is Wonder Boy in Monster World. Now, Wonder Boy is a franchise that has sort of been getting revived lately. You know, there's been spiritual successors to the Wonder Boy franchise that we've seen on modern platforms, and Wonder Boy in Monster World is just a really good game. Like, it's really fundamentally sound. It's a platforming action game, but there's pretty interesting RPG mechanics in this game as well. You can upgrade various things, like your arm, you can get health upgrades. You can upgrade your weapons as well. There's different types of magic you can use. It's got a really good vibe to it as well. It has really good visuals. It has very good music as well. Just a fantastic game that, once again, it's sort of a game that time has forgotten. So it's definitely great to see this game get some shine. Wonder Boy in Monster World is confirmed for the Sega Genesis Mini. Before Fantasy Star became a big MMORPG game, it was actually a traditional turn-based RPG available on Sega platforms. And Fantasy Star 4, in my opinion, was the best Fantasy Star game in the series, and Fantasy Star 4 is confirmed for the Sega Genesis Mini. Once again, another awesome RPG game. I haven't ever beaten it. Maybe one day I'll get around to it. I've been playing it a bit on the Sega Genesis Classics Collection, but just a really fundamentally sound game, a really good story, very good combat, excellent visuals, a good soundtrack, and just a lot of positive things going on with this game. It's definitely recommended as one of the best RPGs on the Sega Genesis. Many people think of RPGs, they think of the Super Nintendo, but this game definitely stuck out on the Sega Genesis, a prime example of a classic RPG game and another great addition to the system. So that's seven games announced for the Sega Genesis Mini, and we have three more to go. Now, looking at the thumbnail of this video, you can see that Capcom is on board with the Sega Genesis Mini. So we have Konami and we have Capcom, two of the biggest pioneers of the 16-bit era on the Sega Genesis Mini now. Now, what three games are Capcom bringing to the Sega Genesis Mini? That's what I'm here to tell you guys. Kicking things off, we have Ghouls and Ghosts for the Sega Genesis Mini that will be available on the system. Now, Ghouls and Ghosts is, of course, the sequel to Ghosts and Goblins, and it's hard as hell. Hell, I've never beaten this game. It's a game you actually have to beat twice in order to get the true ending. It's very, very difficult, but it's an arcade classic. It's a game that a lot of people have very fond memories of, and it's just a game that's fun to play. It's a game that challenges you, but if you can get really good at it, maybe you could get somewhat far into the game. Now, at the start of this video, I said that there was a game on this list that you are going to want to have a six-button controller for, and that's why the six-button controller being available for the system is a good thing. And what is that game? You guessed it. Street Fighter 2 Special Champion Edition. Now, Street Street Fighter 2 Special Champion Edition is essentially Street Fighter 2 Turbo for the Super Nintendo, but with added stuff into it. There's different game modes that you can play in here as well, and it's Street Fighter 2. Like, Street Fighter 2 is god-tier fighting games to me. I, of course, have the Street Fighter 2 Arcade 1-Up Cabinet. I have every version of Street Fighter 2 ever released, pretty much. It, you know, PC Engine, you know, you name it, I probably have it, but I just absolutely love playing it, and it's great to see this game on the system. A top-notch fighting game, a real shining example of Street Fighter's dominant during this era as far as competitive fighting games were concerned and it was actually the first home Street Fighter game that I owned on the Sega Genesis so I definitely have very fond memories of this game and I'm super excited to see it so we now know about 29 of the games available on the Sega Genesis Mini we know that six button controllers will work on the Sega Genesis Mini so what better way to celebrate number 30 than with a game that I honestly had no clue that this would be on the system I'm completely shocked Mega Man The Wily Wars yes folks the game that never released in North America only saw a release in PAL and Japanese regions is going to be on the Sega Genesis Mini. Now this game hasn't even been released on virtual consoles. The only time it's officially released in North America was on a crappy AT game system. But Mega Man The Wily Wars will be on the Sega Genesis Mini. Like holy crap! Like how much better can this system get? Of course Mega Man The Wily Wars is the first three Mega Man games for the NES redone with more modern visuals. There is some additional content in the game as well once you beat the game. But just like wow like they're pulling out all the stops with the Sega Genesis Mini and you want to know what the crazy thing is 
we still have 10 more games to go. Like the sky is the limit with this system. I am just super pleased with it. And I'm super pleased that Sega is allowing me to reveal these games to you guys because you guys really seem to enjoy this stuff. So those are the 10 games for the next batch of games being released on the Sega Genesis Mini. We still have 10 more games to go. We're currently sitting at 30. So let me know in the comments section down below what you think of this list of games. Are you super stoked for this list? Are you surprised to see Capcom on the system? Are you surprised to see the freaking Wily Wars on this system? And as always guys, thank you for checking out this video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications because it looks like we'll be talking about 10 more games for the Sega Genesis Mini in the near future. And as always, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Later.